we might like to think size doesn't matter, but when it comes to women's clothing, that little tag sewn inside is so important. Size one, three, and five, two, four, and six are all pretty small, but now J. Crew is offering its customers a very teeny tiny choice. The retailer, the retailer recently came out with size, listen to this, triple zero for women. Moira Forbes is a president and publisher of Forbes Women, and she joins us at the table. Good to see you, Moira. Good to see you. You know, in this country, the average size is a size 14, so I can mm -hmm. see women everywhere this morning going, really, J. Crew, Really? And J. Crew is a brand that has been at the forefront of creating more sizes for all different body types. The size that they created is meant for a 23-inch waist, and they did it for the Asian market. Huge, big push into Asia, just opened two stores in Hong Kong, and J. Crew said, our sizes tend to run larger. Asian customers are smaller. They were meeting the demands of consumer. And just to give you a sense of how small 23 inches is, yes. I took my tape measure out last night. My head, and I have a big head, I can't buy hats at J. Crew, <laughs> yes. but my head is 22 inches. So this isn't vanity sizing. This isn't trying to make women feel good. This is accommodating a customer base that's important, an important emerging market. And J. Crew is making a good business decision to do so, despite the backlash. And they're getting hammered. They're getting hammered. A lot of people say that they're practicing what's called in the retail industry vanity mm. sizing, creating smaller labels that so women feel good about themselves when they go into the store. It is completely deflating when you walk in and, you know, the size that you thought you were is not the size that you are. And that's not good for a retail experience. We all know what that's like. But this is not the case. They're creating uh, sizes for a new market and we don't necessarily, um, we don't necessarily criticize size companies when they go up sizes, when they, you know, create a petite market. Mm -hmm. This is the same for J. Crew. Right. I mean, you point out J. Crew says it has nothing to do with vanity. They say they extended additional sizing to accommodate customer demand primarily coming from our Hong Kong Asia market. But what about the concerns from critics that this creates additional burdens for young women in America who are already given unrealistic standards about sizes? I don't think creating a new size is going to fuel unrealistic images of beauty. We all know that we are concerned about young girls, especially confidence issues. Well, come on, triple zero? Why can't it just? What be happened zero? to double zero? Yeah, I know did double we, zero is no longer small zero? enough. But J. Crew can't be in the position. They would never. And it would be bad business and bad for customers if they changed their entire sizing chart. They had to accommodate a new customer base, a valid customer base, and this is doing it. Sure, the size is a little bit jarring. Triple zero but they had to create a new size. This was a smart decision. We applauded them when they created plus sizes. We applauded them when they did petite sizes. This isn't necessarily dictating you should be smaller. You're this saying is relax here in the United States. Relax. This is for the Asian market. And actually yeah. a lot of women here in the U.S. said, great, I now don't have to shop in the kids' department. Mm -hmm. This is also a business story about the strength of the Asian market for American retailers, too. Moira Forbes, thank you so much.